Hello guys, it's December 21st, 7.47 p.m. This is Forte, and uh, today is going to be talking about a, uh, you know, a couple of trade ideas, and I'd like to quickly talk about the thumbnail, you know, San Santa Claus rally. Everybody, you know, it's Jim Cramer, everybody all over the internet is talking about the Santa Claus rally that is happening right now, which is, uh, I'm going to just quick, you know, I'm going to bust that real quick. It's not, this is not the Santa Claus rally. In definition, Santa Claus rally is the rally after Christmas, the last week of December into the new year. That week, if the market rallies, it's called the Santa Claus rally. So whatever happens this week, it's not technically called a Santa Claus rally, right? But Santa Claus rally doesn't even have to happen all the time. Last year it happened, maybe the year previous year it happened. This year it doesn't have to happen. The most important thing is still risk management. Right? Let's talk about today's idea. Before that, I'm going to talk about the market real quick. The NASDAQ, everybody's been pretty bullish lately. I like just to quickly point out the trend line here I drew. We're still in a bull market. Literally, the 20, 10, 20, 40, 30 week moving average are always still, still pointing up, right? If you take a look at, at the SPY, same thing is going on. We're still in a pretty bull market, you know, pretty bullish bull market. I know a lot of stocks have, have died, dropped 50 to 60%, but the market is still healthy, in my opinion. The indexes are still healthy. There are still stocks that are tradable. And the market rallied today, and we don't know if they can follow up tomorrow. But if it can, these are the four ideas that I'd like to present to you guys. I'm going to start with the cheapest one, OPK. It is a $4.50 stock. We can see that the stock, you know, got crushed down back in 2015. And then it's starting to put in a, uh, basically, a higher low, right, to where it used to be, you know. And then the 50, 10, all the week moving averages are pointing up. To look at on the daily chart, the major moving averages, the 10, 20, uh, I mean, sorry, the 20, 50, 20 day moving average, the price is above that. And we have put in two inside days in the stock, meaning that it, I think the stock, the price is getting tightened up. It's easy to find a low risk entry for an upside. And uh, I don't know what happened to my TC. If you guys, you guys cannot see the uh, volume here for some reason, give me a second. I'm going to adjust this for you guys. Um, there you go. Now this is kind of weird. I apologize, guys. There you go. Okay, the volume. We can see that um, whatever happened in the market, we we saw that there was big volume. We don't know what happened, news, whatever. You can go ahead and do your DD. But I think all I know is that we went up on huge volume. Something is going on, and then consolidating on really low volume. You know, both and the green actually, which is a good sign. And I'm looking to buy this thing above today's high. With a stop at the slow, meaning that if we fail to the slow, then uh, you know this trade invalid invalidates. Next video we got it's another one of my favorite. It's RCM. Also the same idea actually. Put in two inside days. If you can see, the price is really tightening up. Took a, if you take a look at it on the weekly chart, I can draw a trend line here to the downside. Right, the price broke above it, came down, and tested, made a move up, and now consolidated, came back a little bit, tested this previous high, right that it made. And we found buyers showing up. I like to buy this thing above today's high. As we, as I show you guys on daily chart, I think it's getting ready to move, right? If we can get above right here, we're breaking up above, above multiple day, uh, you know, previous resistance, right? So if we can get above this high, I think this can be a pretty good trade. You know, um, I put my stop extremely tight about right here, put it at the low of the day if it makes sense to you. I think if the stock fails again, I don't. I don't want it. I want to see this thing to go tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, that's RCM. By the way, if you guys are in my YouTube membership, I show you guys the I show you guys a picture of my notebook. By the way, take out your fucking notebook and your pen. Start taking notes when I talk about this. I'm not here to literally present to you guys trade ideas, but hopefully you guys can learn from it, right? And uh, if you guys have been following the YouTube membership, I take a screenshot of my notebook and then send it to you guys every single night. And we've realized that almost none of the trades are triggering. We either gap above, let's say tomorrow morning, we gap above the entry tenfold. We just gap below and hit the stop. In both cases, I canceled the trade. And for the last week and a half, there has been almost zero triggers for any of our trades. It means that the market was not that good. And in hindsight, we know that the market wasn't good, right? So, you know, if tomorrow we fail to follow through, most likely we don't trade these ideas. And the next one, SGMA. SGMA. Uh, uh, what is this one? Sigmatron Internet? Internet, okay. Um, you know, same, it's, this one is a really simple trade. We, you know, huge volume and then we stock basically pull all the way back 
and uh, we pull back to where it used to be consol used to consolidate. And I look at it on the intraday chart. It looks pretty good. We're below the five day moving average. I think if we can buy this thing above this high, we can you know quickly, you know bounce up to around this area for a quick quick trade. Now my favorite idea, RCM and OBK was definitely my favorite. This will be on my C tip C list, right? And the last one is INFN. It's a uh, I don't know what company it is, but it doesn't matter. If we take a look at it on the weekly chart. This thing, you know, been consolidating this range since 2016, right? We actually broke above it, got it put in lower, you know, really low low. You can see this as an inverse head and shoulder if you guys like those kind of things, right? But uh, anyways, that's not the important thing. The important thing is that you know I'm looking forward to trade this thing. We can see that the uh, you know the twenty the uh, 20, 40, 30, 10 weeks moving average of planning out the ten move the ten week moving average on uptrend, and then we put in a uh, you know. Look at, take a look at the um, daily chart. We put in the inside day the day before today, right? The, 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 the stock didn't really get moved too much, but if we take a look at it on the intraday, towards the la later on the day afternoon, we they took over the control on the VWAP, right? So I think if tomorrow morning we can get our strength above right here, this high, then you know we can put our stop probably somewhere around right here. I wouldn't put it at the low of the day, which it doesn't make much sense to me. Because if you really zoom out and we look at it on the 65 minute chart, I wouldn't put my stop anywhere here. I think somewhere here makes more sense to me, right? This more, looks like a more significant higher low relative to this. And uh, that's it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, apologize for not posting a lot. And uh, yeah, um, you know, always wear a blazer when you're trading and, you know, got to stay professional. You cannot treat this as a game. Right, a lot of new traders. I think they're around this time is when they give up because a lot of new traders came from GameStop rush and the March crash. Right, most of them have already give up. For those that are still watching my channel, still trading, since then, honestly, you know, pump to you guys. That's actually crazy. I I, I don't expect a lot of people to. I know that I know I I can see the statistics of uh, my videos. Most of people watching my videos are anywhere from age. Um, 24 to 35 right you know it's it's not uh, people around this age you kind of get really tired out by the corporations alive and in general you, you see very little hope but if you can if you still have you know the compassion and the passion to keep on go, keep this going i say trust me keep on trading 2021 was a hard year 2022 maybe maybe another hard year we don't know but if you just don't give up eventually you'll find a way in the trading world Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, follow me on uh, Twitter. Check the description. See you guys next time. Hopefully I didn't mute the video this time. <laughs>